please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a little look at, and not completely look at because honestly it would take too long, two videos from Essence of Thought concerning Vangelina Scov. Now if you don't know what happened, there is a video I've done on this channel from three weeks ago. It had up until this point kind of been ignored since then to be honest, because it had had its time and Essence of Thought hadn't really said much, instead focusing on JK Rowling and something about AdSense to Strongheart's native helpline. Here is their channel. As you can see, after the Vangelina video, their views went back down to where they typically reside. Where I am, the Oikery. Hi, fellow Oik, you're welcome. So I had thought that perhaps the situation with Vangelina and Essence of Thought would just vanish. But it turns out, a video made on the Essence of Thought channel by some budgie avatar guy, and one made by Essence of Thought themselves, had to come back because Electric Boogaloo, Folie à deux, whichever you prefer. My view on this, the matter is closed. Angelina made a concession concerning the citing of sources and the lack of scrutiny involved in obtaining and finding the original source. However, I maintain the internet is basically open to all, therefore they may not have known they came from your video in the first place because they cited places like Encyclopedia Dramatica, places perhaps like Wikipedia or The Farms, which to some is well and truly haram. I disagree with that. They may not be, to many, an ideal platform for and insert your community here, if you are a part of a community. That does not mean the information is incorrect though. I've said this in the past about multiple creators that are also haram. However, if they are correct, let's say Onision, if he says something that's correct, does it mean he's wrong at the same time? No. It still means he's correct even if he has no leg to stand on. The same can be said for platforms where these screenshots may have originated. I make that point because very early on in the cross-referencing Vangelina Skov's response to the plagiarism allegations video, which is 82 minutes long, the budgie avatar person makes the point about Vangelina citing sources and the origin of the Illuminati accusation of comparison. And this goes back to H Bomber Guy's video where he references pastebin links for citing sources. However, the title of the video has hashtag just another Illuminati because as is often the case, and we discussed this yesterday concerning the George Not Found stuff, there is a completely nebulous interpretation of titles, it's clickbait. It can be open to interpretation because it's not specified. Hence the point of a YouTube video, the title has to be clickbaity, which is what Vangelina said that was. It was clickbait in the title. But the grander point has to be made by somebody analysing it, which doesn't really resonate when you bother to actually apply any level of critical thought. I didn't believe for a second that that was what Essence of Thought meant. I thought they were clickbaiting it for views, which is accurate because it got 40,000 views when their videos average much lower. No offence intended, but we know it's clickbait because of that, and not because of it being on Vangelina. If you'd put a little watermark on it with Illuminati's avatar, it would get more views. I know this because I did it in EOSP last week and I had Illuminati in it. So I put Illuminati on the thumbnail and the video did really well. It always happens. This is where it's vitally important if you're going to clickbait and also be a bit clickbaity in your video analyzing, tearing down the Vangelina. You need to make sure that you are crystal clear on what you meant. But I should also point out, it is a false equivalence to compare someone linking a pastebin with literally no specifics in it that Evangelina not correctly vetting sources in a video. They're not the same at all. You are inferring it is because of similarity in accidents within sourcing, but that doesn't mean they're the same. It is remarkably disingenuous from an individual that think themselves so high and mighty, smarter than they are essentially. In the first section of the video by Levi Schrader, formerly Levi Bird, they talk about did Evangelina plagiarize? And they summarize it by saying that it is plagiarism because you use them in your work without telling people where they came from. That is a quote It's on the screen now for those who are curious. Because Vangelina got them from Reddit, Tumblr, DMs, and didn't say that's where they came from. But this is often the problem within commentary, I guess, where you will use the information presented to you, you collect it, and you run with it. It is an error many make. I fully understand that. 
Hence why this screenshot exists. Because we know where I got it from, I put the captions on the screen. It's your words, not mine. Do I need to link to your, uh, I don't know, your GoFundMe, a Patreon perhaps? It is not plagiarism in the slightest, by the way. It really isn't. If you want to use a literal definition, you can argue all you like you think it is. You are wrong. This is a rather lengthy segment of 20 plus minutes of you believing it to be what it is not. You argue that even if Skov did get the screenshots from third parties, arguing that it's impossible from the offset, which is, by the way, disingenuous because you cannot possibly understand how someone can get these from anywhere on the internet. Literally anywhere. I could post your screenshots anywhere I wanted. That doesn't mean it's plagiarism at that point. They are anywhere. The internet really is forever. You are beyond thick. You say that that doesn't mean they didn't plagiarize. You're wrong. You really are wrong, but you're too dumb to accept it. You finish by pointing out, and I'm not going to bother putting a screenshot on the screen for this one. You can accuse me of plagiarism for reading this part. You don't get a free pass for being a lazy plagiarist because you don't even remember who you plagiarized from. I like that this word is losing all meaning in your rather thick video. It is actually losing all meaning. I'm starting to understand why this video got sod all views, by the way. How desperate are you for attention? You head into the Was Skov Extorted segment by saying, I'm going to assume that we all agree Skov plagiarized. No, we don't. But I'd love to know if you think that she was now extorted. The disingenuous nature of this segment is quite startling. First of all, you're going into it believing plagiarism. You reference the two emails that were sent by Essence of Thought, or Ethel Thurston, to Skov about the updated video description and, of course, the extortion. You believe that this is two separate instances or events being mashed together to make Ethel look more aggressive. This email on its own, the first one especially, does more than enough. It is aggressive. It is extortion. You can try and play semantics or downplay all you like. They tried to extort them for 30% of everything. Now, as I've established, it's actually higher than that if we're going to be pedantic. But actually, it's lower in other areas like Patreon because Angelina makes more videos, therefore the percentage representation goes down. It is extortion to threaten to go down a legal path to try and get money out of another creator. Because you believe, not only are you the one true authority on a subject, but that you are the only person that can have those interview conversations. You believe that they did not get these screenshots from other sites or from DMs. Therefore plagiarism, therefore theft, therefore money gives Munri now. You're going into this with your belief that you are correct and you cannot be wrong. You are wrong. 100% wrong. You are going into this believing that they can never tell the truth, even if they tell you the truth. It is very disingenuous and intellectually dishonest to simply attack and only be a black-pilled boomer. Very nihilist. Your intent is very, well, negative, isn't it? You believe that Vangelina believed that by paying it off, it would disappear. Forgetting in the email, it is very clear that you also wanted, or essence of thought, wanted Ethel Thurston, desired a public apology that had to be approved by them first. A statement of absolute submission. Drivel, contrived, pathetic, extortion. That is the word for it. This is why essence of thought got clarted left, right and centre by the internet. You've made an 82 minute video trying to debunk the accusation of plagiarism or us debunking it being plagiarism, it's not, and also debunking the accusation that it's extortion, which it is. Can you imagine for a second, because no one thinks this was hush money as you yourself, Schrader, believe that that was what people thought. Can you imagine if Vangelina had paid the 30% and put out a public apology? The internet would have told you that is hush money <laughs> of some kind, or more commonly known as extortion. Again, Ethel Thurston hasn't made a video on the person that this was all about in the first place, whose name I've forgotten because they're that irrelevant, in a while. That person had continued making content. So, essence of thought, where were you on this? Did you believe your hands were done? You were the authority? Everyone had to run it by you? How embarrassing is this? I don't believe myself an authority on Anne Boleyn Reed because I was the first person to do an essay video on her. Same with Foodie Beauty, by the way. I couldn't care less. I'm not going to start asking all of the world to pay me royalties, am I? No, because I'm not that entitled and not that stupid. Now, you finish this segment by talking about how when the video description was updated, Ethel Thurston was not included. There's a reason for that, because that wasn't where the sources came from. The original sources, you can argue, did come from there, and you should talk to those other platforms about that. But updating the description to include where they actually came from or where they were sent from 
shows that they did get them from some other place. How are you this stupid? You continue by talking about whether or not Vangelina was scared. You argue, yes, okay. You cross-reference Vangelina Skov's claims. You talk about how this is transmisogyny. You basically waste about a third of this video talking about the backlash and, of course, transmisogyny and how victim cards need to be front and center. It's called accountability, Lobcock. That's what it is. This video, understandably, tanked. I don't know why anyone would spend 82 minutes watching it. I had to speed it up two times. I'm a slow speaker, but I don't make videos this long unless it's some kind of end of year essay. If Vangelina doesn't respond to this, don't be surprised, because it's not worth her time at all. It's barely worth anyone's time, but I can't be asked, and I think this is hilarious to reference as the most lengthy, disingenuous take on a subject that's been dead for three weeks, where Ethel Thurston proved nothing, and all you've done is frame an argument rather poorly using your own confirmation bias and a rather long slew of buzzwords and thought terminating cliche to frame an argument that from the offset is dishonest. I would say you should be ashamed of yourself but I don't actually know who you are. The second video published was titled Vangelina Scov's Plagiarism and Hush Money Lies. Let's talk comment moderation. This video is also divided into multiple segments addressing the hidden emails with many people in comments that were put on your videos having a go at you because you are a blackmailer as you see on the screen here. The point here that is quite important, you claim that they aren't watching your video. But they don't need to watch your video to see the email, do they? The email is shown by both of you, agreed, because I used your email screenshot in my first video on you being a moron. I do want to insert that this video got more likes to dislikes compared to the last video and the comments were somewhat more positive in your direction. Your social blade seemed to indicate a minor uptick as well. According to the predictions though on the right side, I doubt it will last that long. Within those positive comments were lots of people saying that you are very professional. I disagree. The level of professionalism in this video is remarkably limited. It is a way of dragging out a situation because you can't let the argument go because you've already lost. And at this point, it is well established you must be aware of that. So you are dragging out this subject because it gets you additional clicks. As the law of diminishing returns comes into full effect, as you can see from the views of this one so far compared to the initial video, it is unlikely you will get the clicks you would want to justify making more, but you'll continue to do it because you don't have many arguments or fights you can win. And you believe by attrition, you have a chance of winning this because higher ground and you're morally on it. You're wrong, by the way. You tried to extort a YouTuber. The second segment is the hush money lies accusation. And you go through it framing the argument that that was the accusation. We didn't think that, we thought you were extorting. In fact, if you ever pay attention to social media, you'll notice the majority thought that as well. I'm guessing you didn't see any of the live stuff done by Chris the Narc on you. No doubt pigeonholing him as some kind of, and then pick community so you don't have to pay attention person. I don't pay attention to Chris the Nazi Narc either. I just use him for views. But at least I'm honest enough to say that. You then spend an enormous amount of time talking about they fix things and bleating on about where the origin of a source comes from, being so pedantic I could have sworn you were somebody from my own audience. You not only have to vet the source, you have to drag it all the way back to the true origin. That's what you need to do. I can promise you this in commentary, there are very few people willing to do that. You yourself being a commentary channel should know that a vast number of people won't do that because we have to make content. Although I guess you're not really a slave for views, are you? So maybe you're exempt. You also hold the moral high ground as is well established. You continue by talking about just screenshots. This is a comment many of us have made because they are just that, screenshots. As Vangelina cited where she got them from, you believe that to be not good enough and that they came from your video and that possibly, more than likely, Vangelina even saw your videos and therefore knew about it. You cite comments on your video as this argument to allow you the chance to be even more arrogant and pathetic about those screenshots. Would I be right to assume that this is where you still believe you're entitled to your 30%? The next segment is about CSA, child S A, you know what that is. And that's because you in your video, as the comments themselves told you, those comments repeatedly flayed you for the fact that you had to play the ultimate hand of victim cardhood, which is what you did, a chunk of your video you made about yourself, as if your biography somehow meant something to anyone else. It was utterly redundant, like the last video we just went through, further proving you were willing to play as many cards as you could 
to try and get as much sympathy as possible. This doesn't work on the internet. It really doesn't. You've seen what's happened to other creators, commentary creators who make something all about themselves or insert them into things that don't really matter. All this stems from a few screenshots taken from other sites. If it's an issue, you talk to those sites and get those screenshots removed, or have them properly cited. You've gone after a creator that used those screenshots and said. How sad is that? And then you played the hand of victimhood and got clarted in your own comments for it. The last part of note is the owning the topic argument, and that's a point I've made. You act like someone who thinks they do own it, because things came from you. I cite in my commentary videos news article sites. I link those sites as well. Usually it's archived because websites change things. Does that mean I've plagiarized them? Not really. I'm reading a quote and then I offer my commentary to it. Does that mean the site owns the subject? No, because many news outlets use the same words. Many are copy and paste. Many run with the exclusive argument, but not many actually do, because the world, the news, is meant to be free. Ironic, really, because you believe this subject, which can be considered a form of newsworthy coverage, you believe it's an exclusive and therefore yours. But as is well known, that's not how this works. At all. This video, like the last one, as far as views go, bombed compared to the first video you did on Vangelina. I firmly believe it only got traction because of the Illuminati accusation. Far too much of the original video was pointless. And this video is just cope.